What's up guys? If you are disappointed with the new 2023 IMAX only rail update being the addition of the M3 chip and you want to know how to update the new iMac for a reasonable amount of money or you have an M1 iMac and you don't want to spend 1600 on a new iMac then the Sitechi USB Slim Dock with 2 terabytes of memory is for you. Let's talk about it right after this. Welcome back. As many of you know, Apple announced a new 24 inch iMac last week equipped with the M3 after over 900 days of waiting since the 24 inch iMac with M1 being released. It's a lackluster upgrade with no changes in design. The performance bump is nice, but people who buy the iMac buy it for the complete package. The Sitechi USB Slim Dock is an affordable must-have accessory if you have or will buy the new iMac that expands storage at an affordable price and adds I.O. options beyond just the four USB-C slash Thunderbolt ports. So we have it here. It looks like a natural part of the iMac base and it's connected to the iMac via the included USB-C cable. It comes with two USB 2.0 ports, one normal size SD card slot, one micro SD slot, one USB-A 10 gigabytes per second port and one USB-C 10 gigabytes per second port. It has a hidden M.2 SSD slot located at the bottom of the dock that really makes this dock stand out. This slot not only supports SATA, but it also supports newer NVMe technology. This is an excellent way to extend the storage in your iMac at a reasonable price without paying the extremely high prices that Apple tries to extort customers with. If you go on the Apple website, you can see that Apple charges an additional $200 per 512 gigabytes of storage, topping out at $800 for two terabytes of storage. This accessory will cost you $130 to $150 on Amazon. You can also add a two terabyte NVMe solid state drive for $120 for an all-in price of $250 to $270, netting you up to $570 in savings. Insulation is pretty easy and doesn't require tools. One, you remove the aluminum cover. Two, you place the silicone strip at the bottom of the enclosure. Three, you place a rubber stopper on the end of the SSD drive. Four, you insert the drive at an angle and press down on the rubber stopper to secure the drive. And five, place the aluminum cover back on. Note, you may or may not need to format the SSD drive in order to get the iMac to recognize it. Here are six other things that you might need to know in order to get this accessory. The color options are only blue and silver, so purchasers of Macs in other colors may be out of luck. This dock supports an M.2 form factor in the following sizes. 2242, 2260, and 2280. The speed of the external hard drive is only 660 megabytes a second, while the internal hard drive goes up to 2500 megabytes per second. While the dock officially supports two terabyte SSD drives, it also supports four terabyte NVMe SSDs, but you might need to make some modifications to support the double-sided M.2 drive. The ports do not support video output, so you can't add an additional display via these ports. And finally, the ports do however support charging, as you can see here. In closing, this dock perfectly matches the iMac aesthetic as long as you have the right color. It provides great functionality and offers an affordable storage solution alternative to the Apple Store as long as you don't need Thunderbolt performance. If you got some value from this video, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see some more great videos, providing you simple solutions to your technological problems, as well as general tech reviews, please subscribe to my channel. This is JC Tech and Finance, signing out.